In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to grill fillets of gurnard served with braised leeks and tarragon and a tartar sauce hollandaise. My take on that fantastic classic. Let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to cook the leeks. So over a medium flame, just turn on a frying pan. It's best to use a sort of frying pan because you get a nice flat surface. So once that's hot, take yourself some oil. That's a little bit of sunflower oil. Once that's hot, we're just gonna add, here's some leeks that I've already washed and sliced. I sort of like them in that sort of shape because I saw that you, they hold their shape when they're this size. If they're a bit smaller, they sort of break up and I'm after sort of nice pieces of leek. So just put the leeks into your pan all in one layer. And what we're looking for is to get a bit of color on the leeks. And that will start the sort of, the sugars in the vegetable will come out and you'll get a lovely sort of roasted flavor. Also, I'm just gonna put in there one garlic clove that I'm gonna crush. Pinch of salt. And then five or six turns of pepper, black pepper. Just leave them for a couple of minutes, using a spoon, just turning them over, making sure they're not burning. So just cook them for a couple of minutes until they're coloured. The leeks have been cooking now for about two or three minutes and you can see there's a lovely colour on there. So we're just going to add a little knob of butter. or a few. And then I've got some tarragon leaves, which we're just gonna bring a lovely anise sort of flavor to the whole dish. And give that a stir in. And then we've got some roasted fish stock. If you haven't got any roasted fish stock, you can use some water or some chicken stock. It's going to work. It's no difference. But I just, I've got this lovely roasted fish stock that I've made before. So I'm just going to cook those leeks in that. And once you've got the stock in there, just put them to one side on a lower heat and let them tick over for about 10 minutes. So the next part of the recipe is to make the hollandaise. Now, there's a couple of little things you need to look out for when you're making hollandaise. You, you wanna use, I always think use a, a glass bowl. Um, basically, what you're looking for is to create a bain-marie. So, in this pan I've got some water that I'm just gonna to get to a simmer. You don't want it to a boil, we're just looking for a bit of steam and some heat to heat the bottom of this bowl. It's important that the water doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl, otherwise you're gonna end up with scrambled eggs. So just perch that on top. Put your heat down to the lowest setting and make sure it's not going mad. And what I've got in this jug here is some clarified butter. Now the way you make clarified butter is you put a block of butter into a pan, slowly bring it up and let it melt. And as you cook the butter, the actual uh, butter splits away from the buttermilk and what you're left on top with is just clarified butter, very clear butter. Carefully pour that off and then keep it to one side and what we're looking for in terms of temperature is just above blood temperature. So you're looking at about sort of 40 degrees. So when you feel it, it's warm, not hot. So if you can keep that at that consistent heat, that's the best thing to do. So I'm just gonna put it next to my pan because that's the warmest part on here. So into my bowl, I've got two egg yolks. and I've got a juice 
of one lemon. But lemons are different sizes, so if you go for two tablespoons, that'll be best. And straight away, start whisking that over the simmering water. And what we're looking for is for that to sort of thicken and almost sort of look like a ribbon stage. So when you hold it up, it holds itself when it pours back into it and you can see that it's starting to cook. So this will take about five minutes. Okay, so I've been whisking this now for about five minutes. And what we're getting is, you can see, it's starting to be like a ribbon stage. And that really is what is called a savion. So we're just gonna take that off at, the, at that point. And I haven't stopped whisking that for the whole five minutes, and that's important. So put it on your board. And then what we're gonna do now is just slowly pour the clarified butter into the eggs, a little bit at a time. Essentially what you're doing is you're emulsifying the fat, in this case the butter, the clarified butter, with the protein in the egg. The agitation of the whisking basically brings the whole thing together and that's why it's important to not stop whisking. Now once the, once the sauce looks like it's thick, almost like a thick custard, just stop. Add a touch, add a spoonful of cold water. And what that does is just make sure that the temperature comes down and doesn't continue to cook. And you'll notice once you add that water, it goes a little bit thinner. But don't worry, you can thicken it up again with a little bit more butter. And that's the sort of consistency we're looking for. Almost like a really thick custard. So once you've got that to that sort of texture and that sort of thickness, we need some pepper. Pinch of salt. And then the ingredients that's gonna take it from a hollandaise into a tartar sauce hollandaise is a few capers. I got some diced up gherkin. A little bit of chopped parsley. And some chopped chives. Whisk all that together. And there you have it. That's the tartar hollandaise. So it's important that you keep the hollandaise warm. You know, not too hot, but sort of the same temperature that butter was. So I'm just gonna put it back onto my stove. At home, if you've got somewhere like the back of your stove that's quite warm, maybe an arga top to the back, yeah, that's the perfect place to put it above an oven. Yeah, but just be careful it doesn't get too hot, otherwise it'll split. So, we've got our leeks ready, we've got our hollandaise ready. The next thing we need to do is cook the gurnard. So, I've got my grill tray here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the tray, and that'll stop the fish from sticking. And I've got the gurnard 
that I've filleted, I've scaled, I've taken all the pin bones out of it so that it's completely boneless. And I'm just gonna season the fish with a little bit of salt on the flesh side. And then a few turns of pepper. And then onto my oiled tray. Always go skin side first and then turn it over onto the flesh side. And what that does, that little bit of oil that's on the skin will just add a layer of protection for when you put it under the grill. And the oil that's on the tray will just stop it from sticking. Now, so we're gonna put that under the a hot grill. The grill I've got it set on this oven is to about 240, which I think for most people will be the highest setting. Make sure that your grill tray is set as high as it can be without, obviously without touching the top of the grill and that'll get a lovely blistering on top. So that's gonna take four to five minutes until it's cooked. Okay, so the fish has been cooking for five minutes. So we're gonna take the fish out. Now, the best way to, to check that it's cooked is if you've got a temperature probe, is to sort of stick the probe into the thickest part and it should register between 55 and 60. Always remember that the temperature is gonna to continue to cook for about five or six minutes, so it will go up. But I haven't got a probe with me, so I'm just gonna put my knife into the thickest part, hold it there for 10 seconds. And then just against the side of my hand, I'm just gonna put my hand there and I can feel it's warm so I know it's cooked. So leave that to rest for a second. Now, just to plate this up, we're gonna take the leeks that we've braised I'm just going to plate up the leeks. And then the fish, we're just gonna lift on. Like so. And then the hollandaise. Just gonna spoon that on the side. Now I'm just gonna finish it off with a few chefy bits. I got some lovely cress leaves. And then I also got some nice pieces of tarragon that are just picked. And there you have it. There's my grilled gurnard with braised leeks and tartar sauce hollandaise. <laughs>